Hey Easy Street Garage, welcome back to this episode and let me tell you something. What we're going to do today is we're going to air an episode that uh, kind of bounces from maybe about two or three weeks ago. What we did here in the Airstream is we updated our stove. Now these things have a Dometic stove and when you buy the Airstream, especially the Globetrotter, it's got this wire cage thingy in there. And we're gonna show you how unsafe it is, number one. How we think it probably should be updated, number two. And in fact, we updated ours. And Smith's, right there, Smith's updated theirs. They're gonna show us the details on how you too can update your Dometic stove to be safer. And uh, we're gonna do that by uh, buying some off-brand, um, Grates from e-trailer, right? And we're gonna tell you a little bit about e-trailer too. So with that, stay tuned. We're heading over to their Airstream. Let's go. Okay guys, we're heading over here to the Smiths. And we're gonna get the full story on what, how, when, what you need to do uh, to do that. So, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Let's ring the doorbell and see if anybody's home. We're Hi, Mrs. Brother. Smith. How are you? Easy Street Garage, come on in. Hey, good to see you guys. Uh, we're coming over here and uh, you're gonna share a little bit about the Dometic stove in this globe trotter, okay? So, guys, here's what you get for your money, and it's 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 good stuff. I mean, Dometic is really good. Three burner top. Pam, what happens? Well, you'd be cooking, and all of a sudden it goes like that. Yeah, that's a problem. So if you're frying bacon, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. So that the was ant a mistake. Yeah, it's just really weird. Okay, so. Uh, let's show the viewers how to remove the grate or the the wire grates that are in there now So these are in like a grommet a rubber grommet and they just pull right off So that's pretty much an easy move at this point So a lot of questions were um, Back and forth on Airstream attic. I know some folks were concerned that they would have to do modification to uh the cooktop uh, and to the Dometic stove, but not so much, right? So you buy these, these come out of e-trailer. And as Pam is demonstrating here, it's a pretty okay. simple install. There you go. Okay, so you don't have to remove these screws in here. So some people think, you know, hey, I had to remove the screws. That's not necessary, correct? Yep. All right. Slides right in. The other thing too then is there's little tabs on the bottom of these grates right here. These don't have to be removed either, correct? Correct. These little tabs right here, right there. So I've seen it also mentioned, so you don't have to do that as well. And then the front burner, great slides in just like that and it yeah. it fits as though it was really designed manufactured for the Dometic yeah. stove and and now and then you got the pot and there's look at that I mean you can slide that anywhere you want yeah that's pretty cool I like it very much very nice and then um, yeah how about when you close the lid that glass top it, it clears everything no problems yeah look at that no problem you're clear look at that guys so I really think this is a great answer do you remember Mike how much it was like 170 yeah yeah so so they're cast iron grates 179 bucks ish to get this up and running and it even looks better, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. It really does. It, it just classies up, if that's a word, I just made it up anyway. Uh, but it, it really has more of a classier look. 
you don't have to modify anything. If you guys are looking at up, up, I'm well, updating. Yeah, I think that's that needs to be turned around. But if you're looking at updating your Dometic stove and your globe trotter, then you can do it. This is the way to go, guys. This all this fits together. No modifications. No tears, no mess, no fuss, and uh, that's really cool. I'm gonna ask Mike to share his experience with e-trailer, okay? Because when a company does, oh, goes over and beyond the uh, buying experience, I think it's worth mentioning. Uh, so a lot of times we can beat companies up for doing poorly, but Mike, you had an issue. However, you know, I often say it's not what they say, it's what they do to correct the scenario. So tell us a little bit about what happened. Yeah, I, I ordered the grates from eTrailer, uh, great response. They got back to me, told me exactly when they shipped. Um, I got them. Um, unfortunately, they sent me two of the rear grates and not the single burner for the front. So I contacted them. Immediately, they said, we'll ship you another set. They stayed in touch with me, told me exactly when they shipped. Um, they came in on time, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, the, the follow-up and constant yeah. communication. I didn't yeah. have to reach out to them. They reached out to me. So I was very impressed how eTrailer handles their sales. I think it's a good company to work through to order things. I had the same experience. Um, not that I received anything wrong. However... My experience with eTrailer was uh, that I placed them on order. Then eTrailer sends me an email saying they're back ordered. So I had them shipped down to uh, the summer home down here in Hilton Head. They arrived down here prior to what they promised me. So again, kudos to the part number guys. Uh, we're gonna link below on this uh, upgrade, this modification. However, we showed you in a prior uh, episode of Easy Street Garage what we did. Now we showed you how it's done. And I know there were questions. Can I do it? What do I need to modify to get it done? Can I travel with the lid down? All those cool things. And the answer is you can do this. It's pretty simple. By the way, just a note on traveling. Because we talked about this before and Pam brought it up that you might consider uh, if it does bother you about bouncing around and traveling and that that glass lid on the top up there, uh, Pam's got an idea here and I think this is how she's going to travel. And that's simply just to put something to go in between the grates. That's just a drying mat. And this glass. So there, that's an idea. Um, and so you could do that. I will say that we traveled... Uh, maybe about 30, 40 miles with ours closed and the grates, and we didn't have a problem. Uh, so. Cast iron skillet on here now. For these, you couldn't. No, you could not, so. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot this part, right? There, right there. That's a subscribe button. That's your job. I've done my job. Give me a thumbs up, please. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs up even. Hit the subscribe button. Toggle the bell for instant notifications. And until next time, this is Easy Street Garage. You got it. We're out. Hey, that was fun. We got a little modification thing going on there. I will tell you this, guys. I got, I mean... We're down here, we're down here in the south. We're down here in the south, and we have no snow. No snow anywhere. Sorry about that, rubbing it in a little bit. However, we're gonna do some fun stuff also this week. Uh, we're gonna take you to Savannah, Georgia. And uh, we're also going to uh, hit another couple spots up that are fun that you're gonna want to tune into here on Easy Street Garage. So, oh, wait a minute. I forgot this part, right? There, right there. That's the subscribe button.
That's your job. I've done my